What's going on, my lovely collective? Welcome back to the jewelry box with your girl Jess. Here to drop these jewels. <sighs> so I still got three more decks to shuffle after this, but I had to come on. So something about the month of October. Yeah, somebody definitely trying to sell. They got, got a whole group to do this shit. This shit crazy. <laughs> They'll learn. Living and you learn, baby. But anyway, <clears throat> what's that popping? Yeah, a whole group of people was coming up and working against you and they scared as fuck. All right, collective, here we go. So, let's finish getting the energy together here. But something about the month of October, I saw Scorpio, I saw Libra. Um, something about Aquarius as well. Something with Gemini as well. So, a lot of communication. <clears throat> I saw all three air signs. So, there's some communication that's coming in or communication that's also being leaked here. There's some truths coming out. A lot of clarity. Okay, I do see it. Um, yeah. Um, before I got on b to decide like what deck to get or whatever, like I went <laughs> to my cards and I was like, okay, what are we going to pull today? And I heard there's a snake in my boot. <laughs> so I, Disney, that's also Toy Story. Okay. Um, Woody. All right. I don't know. It's, it's not really. It, okay. So it's like some, it's, they're saying it's not really like cowboys and um space agents it, it's really like cowboy and indian type of thing or like the wild wild west outlaws or whatever so you could be the sheriff okay there's a snake in my boot um woody so my name could be tim so my name could be tom so my name could be jesse i don't know who played the girl so shit but um yeah so my name could be Andy, Maddie, Bridget, Bermuda. So I don't know. Oh, I'm hearing a song. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama, to Kokomo. We'll get there, we'll get there fast, but then we'll take it slow. That's where we wanna go. Come on a coca mo. Yeah, there could be some sort of celebration coming through after you walk away or because you're walking away. You you left something or a situation or whatever before things got rocky. Like you saw the storm coming. You received the news. Oh yeah, whatever it is that you found out that caused you to walk away is leading you to some sort of wealth and abundance here. Ten of coins. Yeah, see what I said. You walked away. That tower about to strike. You saw the storm coming. And you got out the building. You left the building before the tower struck. Mm -hmm. And there's somebody who's still stuck in that building because they, 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 they married to the game. But the game that they're in is bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Somebody got caught in some shit for love. And not for nothing, I really do take these cards a lot by face value. There's two masculine energies here. Someone who want to cut. I can fix it. Damn, what movie was that? Or as a show, I can fix it. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, so what else was I getting, though? That made me, like, turn on this camera so instantly. Oh, toys. So, some like, toys. So, somebody's playing in a lot of energy. Somebody could have had some of your idols or something. But somebody was doing a lot of imagining around your stuff or around your energy, okay? Or your energy. Somebody made a vow to, like destroy you somebody's committed to destroying you like i feel like this has been something that they've been working on since day one um it just feels like somebody's been doing it for a long time like from the moment they saw you or found out about you or whatever they took made a vow that they was going to destroy you no matter what okay so that's i don't know that's for somebody that's weird for a long time somebody's been doing this for a long time somebody has been trying to destroy you for a long time Okay, this could be somebody that you were close to as well. That's why there's, there's a snake in your boot, okay? Somebody could have tried to do something to your shoes, okay? Or has a pair of your shoes. And they're doing something with your shoes. I don't know, some sort of ritual or some shit like that. Okay. Yeah, somebody just... <clears throat> Somebody gutted themselves. Somebody wanted to gut you like a fish, but they gutted themselves. Oh, I got a new deck, guys. It's called the Place Oracle. So we're going to use this today. 
maybe to get some insight on like you know the places might be familiar resonate with you it also has some messages on here so we just gonna try to incorporate and see what it's working about because i really want to use this deck first off the cards feel great the card stock is amazing but i love the messages as well yeah street urban you could be you could live in a city what was that a red car red car somebody could drive a volkswagen or more so you could be seeing like beetles volkswagen beetles or you could be seeing actual beetles i'm also seeing red ladybugs as well okay post office somebody's tampering messing with your mouth somebody's reading your mouth intercepting your mouth trying to stop some sort of message from coming towards you yeah this is somebody who is lurking okay somebody who's working in the shadows love these cards already And then I keep hearing that dear Rihanna. La 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 dee da da dee da da da. There's somebody who has been working constantly on your finances here, but I also feel like for you guys who have been working hard on your finances, like working not too fast. Somebody working hard as fuck. Um, I do see that there could be um a hand lucrative. So yeah. Yeah, you've been work praying, manifesting more money, that shit coming in. You've been working real hard. Don't worry. God see you, the universe feel it. They they about to come through. They see all your efforts. You're not doing anything in vain. Okay, keep going. Okay, yeah, shit. These things are coming in. They're arriving at the dock. So I have no fear. I instantly saw the three of wands. So <laughs> Yep, hotel. Comfy. Somebody could be traveling here. I'm getting ready to take a vacation. Okay. But somebody's also like very hospitable, right? Like, you're very warm, you're very loving, you're very caring here, okay? Somebody hates that about you, like, hates. But don't worry, there's an important ending. This shit coming to an end, time is up. Time is up here, okay? There are some <clears throat> people who are just, like, truly obsessed with you and your energy. Somebody is, like, so obsessed with your energy that they... They don't like how good it looks, at, so they're they're painting a distorted image in their mind of you. It's like, say if you go, I don't know, somebody sees you and, you know, fellas, you got a fresh cut. You know, you're looking sexy in the color peach. <laughs> peach. Never, wow. <laughs> so your name could be Jack. You could be wearing the color black or your last name could be black. You should, you could be black. Yeah, calm amid the storm, right? But um, you could be out here looking good, feel me? And somebody would just say, oh, his lineup pushed back. He looks terrible in that color. But everybody else thinks you look good. But there's this one person who is like gung-ho on just distorting your image, no matter what. No matter what you say, no matter what you do. Somebody is flipping and turning everything that you're doing, that you're saying. But that's okay, because karma here, five, that tower. Boop, five. We're here, like I said, Halloween. Um, October, something about October, everything is clearing out in October, yeah, because there's a storm, the motherfucker's tired, God is tired himself, he said, you know what, I'm over this shit, so when y'all get ready to go play around Dio de los Muertos, si mira, October, right, the 30th to November 1st, while y'all out here about to go play and do these rituals and try to call up the ancestors and everybody to do some devil ass shit, I'm about to show y'all who really run the streets, I'm about to show you who really run the energy, who really do it. Yeah. And, you know, when you look at things like Christmas, you know, Jesus and all that. Yeah. So Christmas, trick or treat. It's time for a treat, though. For real. God about to show you a real treat. I'm about to show you a real treat. Yeah, the power of three, this group of people here. Okay. They're doing some heavy work this month in, in September. Ooh, something about November as well. Yeah, look. The, the sewer mermaid here. Look, Ursula ass. That's why that October, that October, that Scorpio energy popped up first. Yeah, but don't worry. <clears throat> you already know what's cracking. You know what's going on, like I said, and you see it. You see it. It's the calm amid chaos. You already know what's going on. So let's get deeper into this message here. It's my final deck. <laughs> so Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for the collective? Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so you know when I post. Let's keep growing. Let's keep, you know, getting a video, showing what I need to see, whatever. 
somebody is definitely trying to slow down my channel that should be fluctuating but it's been cool ever since i made that statement like last week so i thank all of you who have been supporting me okay but let's keep liking the video up so that way it can like you know be shown people can see it, it can move up in the algorithm because somebody is definitely trying to make sure these shits don't be seen so thank you all if you need me i am here you can find out how to reach me below okay so yeah yeah powerful personal growth i love when i see this the not the nautilus princess number 41 the tower as well five 41 somebody could be that age but um isn't she lovely isn't she lovely you have grown so much personally in yourself like these people can't keep up with you like i said like somebody i don't know i just <laughs> i don't know why i seen like two kids in a, in a sandbox and maybe you was a kid who i don't know ate sand which is right and somebody is like people don't forget no forget that shit bruh we was in pre-k like let that shit go like, we was five at the playground. Let that shit go. Like, what the fuck? And we ain't even go. Like, I don't know why I'm getting energy of somebody that you could have met when you were younger. And the y'all didn't, like, say y'all didn't go to the same school. Y'all live in the same town. It was just by a, by a chance that you happened to meet this person when you were younger. And then, you know, because, I don't know, your, your parents or your mama, whoever took you to a park that, you know, where you met this person. But y'all didn't live in the same place, area, neighborhood, nothing like that. And this person just... They still talking about you. Like, it's like somebody got grips on you at an early age. And they have been hooked on you and your energy and have been obsessed with, like, being like you, being better than you, ruining you. And it's like, this person doesn't even really know you. Like, for some of you guys, somebody doesn't even, like, know you. They, they've never had a real conversation with you. Nothing. Like, this is weird. Okay. <laughs> Love is strange, 27. Yeah, this is giving me more of the set obsessed energy. Like, somebody is obsessed with you. Like, that ass. For some of you guys, people are questioning, like, why do people choose you? Because you're so different. For all we know, you could be the walrus, right? I am the walrus. The beetles. Yeah, didn't I say something about ladybugs and shit? They're a beetle. Okay. Scared beetles. But, <clears throat> somebody tripping, though. Across the universe, like I said, this person, y'all don't even stay near each other. Y'all at a distance from each other or whatever. You may not even know this person, but they're obsessed with you. Because deep down inside, even though y'all nothing alike, they love everything about you. They can't admit that what they what it really is, is like this, it's, this, it's a crazy love, but it's a crazy obsession. It's like somebody wants to be around you or in your energy or loves you so much that they're willing to hurt you or harm you or whatever or make you unhidden make you unseen like there's a snake in your boo for some of you guys this definitely could be somebody that you know that you've encountered family member or whatever who has an unhealthy obsession with you and your energy okay very unhealthy but they tripping because in a movie across the universe or even still any Beatles song if you know you know the motherfuckers was tripping they was tripping and this person is tripping. They are the walrus. Cuckoo, cachoo. They is tripping. Okay? The one who flew over the cuckoo nest. All right? Yeah, and like I said, 16 underneath here, they, that's a 7. That's a lesson to learn here. Transitions to the spirit realm. Somebody going to learn today. Well, definitely by October, not to mess around with the ancestors. I keep getting, like, and I was getting it too, like, somebody messing with your ancestors. Like, somebody is digging in the wrong dirt, playing in the wrong field, just doing too much. We're just going to say they're doing too much. Yeah, Mystic Haven. New Haven. Shit, Mystic Haven could even be a place. But, yeah, hidden wisdom, enchantment, esoteric, magic, intrigue. Like I said, somebody... Somebody going to the botanicals, heavy. Yeah, somebody is staying heavy in these streets. Somebody lives in a city. Okay. So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit. What do you have here for the collective? I shuffle, but I don't cut. So let me cut for y'all. Scorched lands. Ah. Something about to burn the fuck up. And it's erupting like it's a volcano. Something is, the volcano is erupting. <clears throat> collective i feel like you see that you know that you saw the smoke signals the warnings you, you got clear you moved out the way before all of this went down or before it starts to go down like you're you're you've moved away or you're moving away you're being 
um, you're relocating, okay? Like, God is picking you up and moving you away from a situation before this lava come down to come crashing on this whole shit. Yeah, the street. You could definitely live in a city. You could live by a coastline. Somebody been doing some work in a, in a forest, in the woods. Some, okay, somebody's using water. There could be like some sort of lake or pond or maybe even stream or whatever. Something in the woods that somebody is like traveling to or going to where they're doing like these weird ass rituals. Um, for some of you guys, there's definitely um, someone <sighs> looks at you like an exper experiment. So that's why I said you could be the walrus. Right? And they're trying to understand why people love you or care about the way you do because you're so different, right? So we had the street come out, urban landscape, pedestrian traffic, sidewalks, cars, whatever. That that's irrelevant, right? Here and there. I'm not got it. We're not intuitively we're not picking it up that way. Got it. I mean, but in the same place, this is also where you could have met this person or you could see this person, right? You could see this person on the street. This person could be riding behind you, stalking you, got people riding behind you, driving past you or whatever. You randomly see this motherfucker, right? We got the sea. Um, ocean waves, seaside, okay? Somebody was... I'm hearing genie in a bottle. Somebody put something in a bottle and threw it out the sea. Damn. Somebody's definitely in like a forest or like in a wooded area doing some shit as well. But I also see here that some of you, though, who also live in, like, you know, city area, get away from the city. Some of you could be getting away, moving away from the city. You could be moving to, like, a more secluded area. Some of you could be moving by, like, you know, a coastal line area here as well. In the lab, you know, making things happen. But like I said, somebody's been researching you and studying you. Somebody's also been doing a lot of studying as far as how to, like, hurt you or whatever. Because, like I said, somebody... They've already went, like, they be do, going in the graveyards, getting shit, doing shit, whatever. Like, somebody's doing a lot of driving, a lot of traveling. They go by the water, and they need to do something or whatever, or throw something in the water, do some sort of ritual by the water, and they're going in the woods, and they're doing it. Somebody's concocting and making all this shit happen. Somebody's also studying you, okay, trying to see, well, this this spell ain't work or whatever. This This ain't work, so what can we do now? Like, somebody keeps, like... I feel like somebody's testing their, testing, like, witchcraft and shit on you. Somebody's testing shit on you. Somebody's testing you, period. Yeah, and they about to end up in a motherfucking hospital. Somebody was trying to hope that you get sick, okay? Some of you guys, you could have even seen this person in the hospital, right? This is, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know, why, I heard volunteer, this person could have been a volunteer. Maybe you were a patient in the hospital. You know, some people become obsessed. Start reading through your file and shit. Get your address and all that shit. Your, your next of kin start stalking and harassing you and shit. Somebody could have these connections. Somebody could know somebody who can access medical records. Okay, we're going to see what else that's up. Yeah, and then we got this hotel back again. Because you're a good person. You're a nice person. Somebody is taken aback by this. I don't know. This is weird. Somebody is weird as fuck. Let's see. Yeah, that Queen of Cups with the brains. It was funny. I was, <laughs> I was talking to my friend. I was like, you know, I keep picking up this energy. Like, I don't know. It's like this Queen of Cups. And I, but I see the Queen of Cups in, a, <laughs> in that deck with the one that's eating the brains and the zombie deck that's eating the brains. And this is her. This is what I'm talking about right here. This bitch is, I mean, yeah, it's, she the queen of cups, but she a zombie bitch. She in brain, she sitting there drunk as fuck. Like, she she ain't got it together. Like, she ain't got it together. She ain't got her own fucking thought. So, let's see. Why is Street here, Divine Holy Spirit? Why is Street here? Try not to rock the camera on y'all. Styles be a jiggling. Why is Street here? Yeah, okay. We got the Hierophant Taurus energy. And we got the Four of Swords. Like I said, um, 
And then the Six of Cups. Somebody saw you, like I said, and they can't get you off their mind. They can't stop thinking about you because, like, in this, it's like he having PTSD. He keep thinking about, like, that time at war, PTSD. Somebody saw you or whatever, came across you, and they can't help, like, they can't get you off their mind. Like, you're a target to them now, okay? Somebody is obsessed with your energy. Like I said, somebody saw you, like, probably doing good deeds or something like that or passing on the street or whatever. Um, I'm also saying that a community here is there. Something's about to be on the news about a community or some friends or some people from your past, some the person that you grew up with. Like I said, okay, with the Six of Cups here, we got Taurus. We got um, Libra, and we have Scorpio here. I don't know why that took me so long to get that out. But, um, yeah, it's like somebody sees you, like, you're looked at kind of like with some sort of fame or something in somebody's eyes, or maybe even in your community, you could be popular in your community, like, people know you, and they know you to be of a good person, like I said, but you're so different, and like, I, and somebody's trying to really understand why do people like you, like, you have this, like, this a beautiful, abundant aura about you where people just want to be around you, like, you have your... You walk like Jesus, bro. Like, I, cause I'm hearing it, and I'm like, damn, say it like that. And it's like you have like this godlike essence, and it's not like saying like you're God or whatever, but it's like how you know you're just kind, you're forgiving, you're loving, you move by the virtues, like you know how Jesus was. Like, you are truly a chosen one. You are truly a child of God, and it shows in how you act and how you treat people every day. <clears throat> and somebody is seeing this. Okay, like the whole community knows this or whatever. Why is C here? Yeah, see, somebody was doing everything that they could to take you out. They were trying to cause this tower, major tower here. I'm also seeing where it's a rip tire, big ass tie about to come in and wash all this shit away. God about to take care of this shit, okay? Strength, Leo, energy, tower, um, Scorpio, and Aries energy, Mars, conflict. All of that shit about to get blown out. Of, something was definitely blown out of proportion. Yeah. Now, somebody about to really be fucked up, okay? Somebody, yeah, as a, what is this? Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, okay? Just a messenger. But Libra energy again as well. Yeah, see the King of Cups, he's buried in the sea. Whatever somebody was trying, oh, that's crazy because it kind of is giving that vibe. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um Yeah, but with the C here, it's like somebody was like doing all that they could. Like somebody really thought that they could hold like hold you back, stop you and like cause some major tower in your life. But I do feel like there's a storm. The storm that is brewing is coming, the tide is about to come and wash all this shit away. Like I feel like you've been um standing your ground long enough, right? You you've healed, you went through the heartbreak, but now it's like whatever somebody kept trying to send to you, they're about to experience that shit right now. Okay, the tower's coming down. Like I said, God is moving you to a secluded area. He's getting you away from what, like this energy here. Yeah, you're being led away from this situation, from these people. Yeah, the chariot here, okay? We got Taurus and we got Cancer Energy. You and your family, you and your loved ones, y'all being moved away from this area here. You're cutting out the weeds. Yeah, you're, you're going to receive some sort of communication where... Um, about a move or like you know a relocating or is or you're going to get some sort of sign or something some sort of message some sort of inkling that's going to make you like get away or like maybe you don't you don't go down the street one day or maybe if you do live by a beach or something you don't go by the beach that day or whatever because there's something going on and god is like protecting you and guiding you and trying to keep you in like safer places some of you guys you definitely could be in some sort of seclusion right now okay um really feel lonely but or not really feeling lonely because I, I do feel more so that there's a focus of, on what it is that you're doing here right because you're working towards a goal but I feel like God is just like you keep getting a, a lot of intuitive nudges and hints here to keep moving forward here seven pinnacles sitting on this um the things that you're investing in your time and your energy God is helping you to make better and new improved investments here he's moving you away
from this situation, like unbeknownst to you, like you might just be like, you know, God, you're praying on a situation or you're just praying and God is like showing you things and you're just following your intuition. And it's like, you're going to look up and you're going to, yeah, look, what to expect this week. You're going to look up and realize that, you know, you were, you, you were getting out of here. Like, you know, see this man in his tank and he running over all these zombies and shit. Like you, you got your truth and you gone. Like you just going to be, like I said, you're getting a message and a plan there's some sort of investment i don't know if there's finances or something coming into you but it's causing you to move forward and you're 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 not giving two flying fukunannies and you're moving forward here it, all them people who was trying to come up and torment you you don't even see their ass because you're just your god is just moving you you don't even realize a lot of you guys you're evading a, like a lot of bullshit like people keep trying to come up and attack you they're stalking you watching you following you doing all this shit I heard acid when I seen it. Somebody could want to had mm, somebody had a plan to come up and like throw something on you to like hurt your skin. Okay, that's for somebody. Laboratory, yeah, definitely. That is sad. Hospital. Somebody was trying to hurt you. Yeah, five of cups. Okay, Scorpio energy. And that's, uh, yeah, with all the peeling skin of the zombies, too. That explain why I picked this up, too. This is somebody's dream. Like, it would have made somebody so fucking happy to just, like, hurt you. Like I said, somebody's also been researching you, okay, looking you up, finding out about your family, your friends, your kids, your pets, whatever, your job. Somebody's been looking you up, and it is breaking their heart. They're upset at the fact that, I don't know, somebody's having a what was me pity party about their own life because they're comparing themselves to the lives of others. Okay, like I said, this could even be people around you. This could even be like your own family members here because they couldn't stop you. Somebody desperately wanted to stop you. They was researching you and studying you to try to figure out how to stop you here. Okay, yeah, spying, watching, researching, page of swords. Like I said, trying to figure out how to stop you. We got Virgo here. We got young air energy here, <clears throat> young earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Like I said, somebody's even went as far as to looking into your medical records, okay? Somebody was trying to make you sick. Somebody didn't want to see you happy. I also get somebody was trying to, um, I don't know, make you like, some. okay, I heard laced. So somebody, be careful, like if you smoke or if you're drinking or whatever, be careful who you're around because somebody's trying to like slip a drug or something into like your weed or into your, your drinks or whatever that will alter your mind state somebody's trying to make you look crazy mentally unstable so that your ass can lose everything and end up in a hospital yeah what i say ten of wands somebody want to see you drop the ball so somebody is working in a lab or they have some sort of chemical or something that they're trying to like put a oh i just seen an image from um king's that's the movie kingsman with who was that samuel and it's like satin like Brunton or some shit like that where like he turned on a cell tower like he got everybody to get these phones and whatever that's neither here nor there but yeah because it was like a big thing like I don't know this could even be on a more global ta global scene or whatever I don't know because I'm getting it like that that they, they want to throw something in the air I don't something that will trigger and make people go crazy or whatever so people become more aggressive and want to like attack each other or whatever something like that you're getting away from this i don't know maybe it could be happening in cities okay and it's like because people be so cooped up it could be all the fumes and it's like you need to get out into the fresh air because there's things that they're cooking up in this lab to make people sick so be careful and close-knit i mean this is a general one that i'm getting here um social distancing because there's a new something that's out here that is really gonna make people sick like really like hurting families here losing family members type of energy what else for hospital here divine holy spirit yeah seven of cups make people go crazy like i said somebody want to see you go crazy or like i said this could be some sort of virus or something that gets sprayed that like eats at the brain that hurts that hurts the mind yeah okay the emperor here aries energy we got um pisces we have scorpio Somebody's definitely trying to do this to have some sort of control here. That's more on a bit a global scale though. We're part of something way bigger. Okay. 
Um, I also feel as well, this could be a father figure here. All the cards in that deck is upright, so this emperor could easily be in reverse, and we're not seeing that because all the cards are upright. But this could be a father figure here as well, or maybe somebody you have kids with who could be in the hospital and they don't know what the fuck happened. It was all that bullshit you was out here doing. Somebody's messing with some hoes and they don't understand how they got sick. You got sick from these hoes. They was doing the shit on purpose. Love is strange. They was trying to send this person towards you. They was on that, yeah, on that walrus shit. Shit, so it could, for some of you guys, it's not even food that's tainted. It's somebody's sexual particles. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It's somebody's sexual particles that could be infected. And they're trying to send this person towards you. No matter where the hell you at to disturb you. Yeah, to see. Oh, okay, that's like the way. Somebody got that wet wet. Somebody trying to come see you to get you sick, though. I feel like somebody could have tried. It, mm, okay, we're not going there. That's a whole different message. Uh-uh. Nope. All right, let's get this other deck. Yeah, I feel like it's hard for somebody to come and try to attack you. Somebody could have ran track. Yeah, this whole group of people, it's really hard for these motherfuckers to really come up and try to attack you. You're an empress. You're a sweetheart. You're, you know, you're a divine one. You're a sweet, a sweet person, okay? And it's like no matter what they try to do to try to paint this nasty image of you or to try to destroy you, it's like you you get better, you get blessed, you show up bigger and better, whatever, yeah. And it's all evident here, 55, that tower that somebody was trying to do all this shit here, okay? Everybody sees this shit. Or like I said, this person's trying to get evidence up, evidence up on you or trying to dig up some shit, researching you, right? Spying on you, stalking you, got all these people stalking you and shit to see what's up with you. And they're just seeing that you're a really calm, peaceful, and serene person. Like, you don't, you mind your business, you enjoy family time, whatever. Like, you just do what you do. But this person is obsessed with making you look like you're crazy. Somebody definitely wants to get you locked up. Yeah, now somebody is scared as fuck, 75, because that shit's not working. It's not working at all. They're thinking of everything that they've been doing. Like I said, it's a dub, 20. Somebody's been doing this shit for a long time. 2020 is significant as well. So for some of you guys, it could even just be in the last three years. Somebody has been going hard, bro. 2020 was the shutdown of, from COVID, too. And then I say something global, something big on a big scale. Yeah, motherfuckers is getting scared. Too many of us um, chosen ones, we know what the fuck going on. High key, right? Us card readers and shit like that, they talk about us, but whatever. Niggas don't be saying shit when shit kind of pass. So, all right, had a. We got 10 right here, okay? Somebody, they, somebody been playing us 10 years. Shit. Okay, Will of Fortune, Aries. Oh, I said it again, whatever. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio here, but somebody doesn't understand karma. Somebody doesn't understand karma. Somebody doesn't understand how the universe truly works. <clears throat> While they were busy out here studying you, they should have been studying a hell of a lot more. Like how the universe really works. Okay? Because it ain't no coincidence that all this shit is happening. Somebody might try to make it seem like something was a coincidence that they showed you. Like I said, you could be kept to somebody seeing you. Yeah, they don't want to hear that shit though. They don't want to understand fate and that things happen for a reason. Like no matter how they can delay, they could try to block, try to block, they can delay. But our father said those weapons will form, but they will not prosper, you know? They will form these weapons, but they're not going to prosper. Did you hear me? Yes, you did. Yeah, these people wanted to try to play you, control you, okay? Like I said, there's some sort of mind control that somebody wants to do as well, dictate you, gear with some sort of curse here. Like I said, somebody's doing too much. We got 15. We got the number 40 right there. Somebody's doing too much, okay? Somebody was definitely trying to block your blessings with these disturbances, and that shit was not working. Somebody wants to control your mind. Somebody wants to stress you out. Somebody wants to block your blessings, steal your blessings. They was trying to send all these disturbances, like I said, set this trap for you, but it did not work. Instead, all they did was stop themselves from being blessed or getting anything that they wanted to get. Okay? Blind. You don't even see this shit. A lot of you guys. Nine, Virgo, Hermit energy. Like, you've been in seclusion. God put you in isolation. 
so that way you wouldn't have to be worried about this shit. Like, you've been working so much on yourself, 67, that you don't even pay attention to what these motherfuckers got going on. For some of you guys, these people haven't lived and they haven't learned. They don't understand 27. Okay, you are nine upright. They are nine in reverse. These people don't know themselves, know thyself. They don't know themselves, okay? All they know is that they make some sort of promise, some sort of vow, like I said, to destroy you. Somewhere in their sick and twisted mental, they just felt like, I need to destroy you. But they don't understand. Fate is fate. It is what it is. Things are already written. Things are going to happen regardless. They can, we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. Okay, justice with the 11 here, Libra energy. All right? We can do this the easy way or we could do this the hard way. I can cook you up something real nice and easy. Or, uh, you know, we can make this difficult. Or you can be hungry. You can starve, motherfucker. You choose. Right? What is this? Yeah, these people do not like this. 14 and the 5, okay? Comma, reverse. These people do not like this. They don't like the fact that you pray. They don't like the fact that, you know, that maybe you somebody like me and you speak of a praying life. Of how much you believe in God and how much he has done for you and how you know that he does wonders. And they don't like this. They think that you fake and you phony. They want to try to catch you up to make it seem like that ain't how this person really is. They don't really feel that way. Blah, 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 blah. But like I said, you're a sweetheart. You really the fuck, dude. These people are sick. Why don't you gain your own connection with God? Why don't you go back to him and stop running to the fucking devil? Okay, yeah, so you're getting released here, collective. Like, you no longer have to work so hard. Your, your blessings are coming in to you. Yeah, like I said, there's good news. Your blessings are coming in. These people couldn't stop shit. 67, the blessings is 42. They couldn't stop shit. Yeah, they kept trying to curse you, curse you, curse you over and over and over again, trying to control you and shit. That shit falling back on these people. Yeah, all these rituals they was doing, 40 and 18, doing this shit forever and ever, that shit is falling back on these people. They should have saved their money. All that energy, everything. And I feel like, you know, that's where this overload was. That's why you had to, you kept, you had to keep working so hard because they kept putting these blocks and delays. So you, you did more work than what you needed to do. But nonetheless, you didn't complain. You stayed blind to the shit. You just went and did what you had to do. But now God is like, nah, you don't work too hard, my child. And all that extra work you done did, I'm going to pay you extra. I'm going to make sure you get extra. You're going to get an extra blessing. You're going to get extra abundance because you put in too much work for the things that it is that you wanted and you desired. You could have been had what you had, but they caused so many blocks and delays and what it was. So I'm going to give you 10 times over. I'm going to give you so much more, so much better, 40 times over what it is that these people was taking from you, what they was trying to take from you. Okay? Well, all of these curses and these rituals and all this magic and shit they was doing. They want to see how, they want to see something. They want to play with magic. They want to know what magic is about. I'm about to show some real fucking magic. That's what's about to happen. I'm about to bless the fuck out of you, my child. You don't need to work anymore. You work too much. Somebody, God said you work too much. You did too much work. And because you done overwork, you didn't do overtime. And because of all this overtime, oh, the payday is about to be beautiful. The payday is lovely. Yeah, savings on top of savings. You still going to be stacking money when you old as fuck. Holla at me. Yeah, and these people don't like it. They still going to protest and try, try to stop it. 51, go sit your old ass down somewhere. For real, because again, they made this vow, this promise, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna stop them. This isn't true, this isn't dumb, whatever. Dumb in this whole fucking team, y'all asses is grass. Understand that, 45. Okay, six, people of your past. This red car, motherfucker, 29, okay. Obsessed. That's okay, y'all asses about to be sat all the way down. Final card here. Yup, third wheel. All they can do now is just sit and watch. This fucking enemy. That's all you're going to be do, able to do is sit and watch. Be a third world constantly. Always trying to tag on, tag along and be in the energy of the collective. Or energy of anybody who's positive. That's all you're going to be is a tag along. 37. There ain't nobody ever going to take you serious. Nobody going to trust you. Because they're going to know the type of person you are. You somebody who go around, you curse and hex people to control them. Even your own friends, they about to wake up and see... Bitch, you had us out here doing all this dumb, goofy-ass shit, and the whole time this person wasn't even like that. You out here lying because you got a distaste for somebody. Because why? Because you jealous. You envious. You thought this was a bright-ass idea. 41. No, the fuck it wasn't. All those numbers I called could be ages. They could be years. Okay? It could be somebody's address. It could be the last two of a phone number. Yeah, a new start is coming, collective. Don't worry about these fools. I ain't. You shine. Yeah, and emotions are running high. The protests, because they mad as fuck. All, the, all of us readers, we all putting their ass out there. 
And what you gonna do about it? Que tu hace? Mm, confirmation. Que tu hace? Nah, mira. Nah. Because not for nothing. Collective already said it and they've been moving cool, but God really saying it. <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite Spanish lines. No eres ma. <laughs> no jore ma. Mira. <laughs> you fucked with the wrong one, the right one today. Okay. Let's see. Fucking crooks. I, and I'm hearing the song. I never go back to Georgia. Hey, hey. I never go back to. It comes from one of my favorite movies, Crooklyn. Okay, but that's set out in Brooklyn. But these people were fucking crooks, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's a time for healing. Everybody, it's time to heal. Collective, all the over, all the overload, all the hard work you've been doing, it's time to heal. It's time for you to reap these blessings. And the people who was doing, working overtime, trying to curse and hex you and shit, y'all about to get y'alls too. It ain't, it ain't a blessing. Y'all about to learn now, because you ain't want to learn before. You about to learn now. Just is here to balance that shit out. We about to learn how to calm down. Somebody about to be sat down and learn how to calm down. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. God said, that's the only card we need to see today. And I believe it, because it's a wrap. It's done here. It's done. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon, eclipse. It's done. These people are done. They get an eclipse. Eclipse out of the image, out of the picture, out of your life, out of your energy. You ain't got to worry about this shit no more. They about to be handled and dealt with. So that has been your message, Collective. I hope it helps. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to book, need me, anything like that, you can see how to do that below in my description box. I love your face. Absolutely. Okay. I can't wait to talk to you again. Till the next time we speak. Peace out.